Today's problem, the bob of a two meter pendulum, so that's two meter long string here, described an arc of vertical, an arc of a circle in a vertical plane. So it's moving uh, back and forth this way in the vertical plane. If the tension in the cord is 2.5 times the weight of the bob for the position shown, find the velocity and acceleration of the bob in that position. So we approach this problem the same way we approach all problems. We're going to write that the, the sum of the forces in vector form is equal to the mass times the acceleration. Now in this particular case, the forces, there's only two, there's the weight due to gravity, and I'll write this as a vector, plus the tension in the string. So those are the only two forces on this mass down here. Um, th this will equal the mass times the acceleration, and I'm going to break up the acceleration into two components. The normal component, and we'll indicate these as vectors, and the tangential component. So, the force is e the sum of all the forces is equal to the mass times the acceleration. The trick with all of these problems is to choose the right coordinate system to do the, the calculations in. And in this case, the easiest coordinate system has to do with taking the normal and the tangential portions of the acceleration. Let's start by dry, drawing the forces on the mass. So here, let me draw a little sphere here. That's the mass. And what forces do we have on it? We have the f force due to the tension in the string. And so I'll just write that as the tension force. And we have the force due to gravity in the down direction. And the sum of those forces just as represented by the equation above, um, can be written this way where we're just going to look at, we've got the mass and we've got two accelerations, the normal component and the tangential component. Let me go back and draw the the normal and tangential directions here. I'm going to do this in another color. The normal direction is parallel to the, the direction of the tension, and the tangential direction is perpendicular to that. So we, we can tell by the angles up here. Let's see, where we initially wrote the angle here. 30 degrees, and so this angle is also going to be 30 degrees, and that's enough information to start writing out the equations. Let's do so. So we have the force in the tangential direction. The sum of all those forces is equal to the mass times the acceleration in the tangential direction. And I'm going to start speeding. And here we go, speeding through this. So first write down uh, the, the f component, the tangential component due to gravity, it's mg sine 30. Then we can solve for the tangential component of the acceleration. There it is, 4.9 meters per second. Next, we work on the normal forces. The sum of all the normal forces is going to be the mass times the normal acceleration. So first that, we have 2.5 times, um, that's the tension, 2.5 times it's the weight, that's the tension in the line. And that was given in the, pro the problem statement. Um, and then we have minus mg si cosine 30. 
that's the component in, along the direction there. We can solve for the normal acceleration. You can see it's 16.03 meters per second squared. From that, in this other formula, where the normal acceleration is equal to the velocity squared divided by the radius, we can calculate the velocity, and there it is. It could be either plus or minus 5.66 meters per second. Now let's rewrite the solutions we calculated. So the, the normal component of the acceleration was up there. It was 16.03 meters per second squared. And then we've got the tangential component of the acceleration. We calculated that further up. Let me go back up there a second. There it was. Um, let's write that down. 4.9 meters per second squared. And then, of course, for the velocity, we have right here plus or minus 5.66 meters per second. So there's our solution, the two components of the acceleration. The acceleration is a vector. So we've got two components in two orthogonal directions. And the velocity is also a vector. So it's either plus or minus. And so what does that mean? Let's go back up here and look. You can see that the um, we're talking about the, the tension in the cord is 2.5 times the weight of the bob at this position shown, the position being 30 degrees angle. And so the, the mass could either be going up or down. Um, in either case, this would be true that the tension in the cord is 2.5 times the weight of the bob. So if the mass is going up this way or down this way, that's true. So we'll just indicate that here with the uh, arrows and a little plus sign or minus sign. And so the solutions are vector solutions. And you can see we have the magnitude and the direction.